What's up, everybody? It's Conger Live. We're back again with another Kingdom Boss video. Today, I'm joined by Red, White, and Bruised. We're going to be discussing what we think are the best buffs, and we're going to rank them from worst to best together. Thank you for being with us today. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to educate that like button. Leave a comment with your thoughts down below, and let's get into it. Okay, hey Red, welcome to the channel. How you doing What's today? What's up, folks? All right, all right. <laughs> oh, not too bad. <laughs> all right, it's uh. Excellent. So, what are we thinking for number eight? So, you know, looking, there's a lot of different um, things on here. All of these uh, buffs are good to a degree, depending on what they're using for using them for. But the thing I think we both agree that the least valuable. One is taunting. Yeah, there's uh, it's it's kind of like the opposite of Rockov's uh, focus target or target focus. It's uh, kind of make sure you're doing just their ass to kick. Here we go. I got it right now. Ooh, just slide that up near the top. Yeah, so you know it's nice that taunting. All right, so that's number eight taunting. Uh, yeah, it's nice that it, the character takes five percent less damage, but when you're asking four people to attack you. Uh, <laughs> not really uh not really the best so that's unfortunately the worst buff it does have a place but uh that's that's the that's the worst buff um the next one which is actually uh really really cool um but i think that number seven is dodge what do you think red uh i'm gonna have to go with that also uh it's a it's rng and i am not a fan of rng i prefer guarantees um, and it only dodges non-ultimate attacks, so it's only basic attacks that's actually uh, it's actually dodging. So it's not doing a whole lot for you there compared to what the other buffs can do. Right. So like other games where they have um, a dodge effect, um, it's like a guaranteed dodge for the next attack, so to speak. But this, uh, it seems like all these uh, buffs and debuffs, they kind of they land and they stay for what about five seconds we're thinking yeah it's around five seconds unless you refresh the ability um and then all the stacks will refresh for that five seconds right so for five seconds That's to have the only, only way you're gonna make them. a five percent or a ten percent chance to dodge incoming attacks you know sure if you can get five stacks up to 55 percent it's just it doesn't feel like it's happening enough when um, when we are experiencing it. So even though, yes, dodging basic attacks are great, um, it's just not as good as the other buffs that we're gonna talk about, which is why it's number seven. Yeah, because it's, uh, it's not a guarantee, and by the time you get those five stacks rolling, half your team is probably already dead, to be <laughs> honest. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so for number six, um, this one was, um, I was kind of torn between these two. Um, and I think that, you know, we were talking a little bit earlier. So I think we agreed that defend would be number six. Yeah, defend is, um, it's that guarantee I was talking about that dodge doesn't have. And defend actually affects um, enemy ultimate move also. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like dodging. By the time you get the stacks um, wrapped up on it, there's only a couple heroes that really do defend it anyways, so not a big deal. And some are conditional. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's just not, not really doing a whole lot for you. Exactly. One thing that we were talking about that we noticed is that if with five stacks of defended, it seems like the character's only taking one damage. and But with 55%, they should be taking more than one. So um, we're trying to get clarification from Fred as to the order of operations, as to like when does the... Um, damage reduction happen or maybe if there's a bug and it's and they're getting more damage reduction than than what it's showing I don't yeah, know yeah because he said it was a a ratio a power ratio which um, that's that does not make sense it should just be a simple cut dry plus and minus multiplication division mm -hmm. and 
now they're throwing ratios in there, and we all know how how well ratios work. <laughs> so it, so it's also taking into account the defense stat, right? So because it increases the defense stat. Yep by a certain amount so if that yep. ratio that defense stat gets boosted by 55 percent and then maybe there's a combination of like the debuff that reduces attack maybe that's what's happening because i remember in the campaign early on one of the first scoots i fought it's like dude this guy takes no freaking damage one 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 yeah um <laughs> it's um it's that power difference in there somewhere it's got to be what it is yeah yeah Okay, so that brings us to number five, which is Shielded. Do you agree? Yes. Um, shielded is a 10%. Let me find it. You guys can all read it for yourselves, but it's a 10% uh, damage reduction for the whole team, um, which is really nice. And there's a few good tanks that actually do put that out there. Uh, Rowan and Alana. Yep, absolutely. So that's actually a huge... A flat 10% re uh, damage reduction is great. It doesn't matter what type of damage either. It's not like it's physical or magical specific. It's all damage received. Like anytime you can reduce or increase all damage, like that's just amazing. So I think that this is a very, very good buff to have. Yep. But it's not as good as the others. <laughs> it's not as good as the other. But, I mean, that, that, <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's saying something, right? It's Reducing. It's Reducing 10% damage is the only number five of these buffs. So that's, that's what I was saying. They're, these are all great, um, but this is how we've ranked them. So this and, and this was another one that was like, I was thinking, should it be higher? Um, but um, you kind of convinced me that this next one should have been higher than Shielded, and that is Regen. Yep. Um, so Regen actually works out really great when you pair it with those primal runes, which give you the leech effect. Um, and in boss bash, that's very key to have. Um, regenerating, so I can find it here. Well, another thing that, you know, the way that Regen reads is that it's based on the character's attack stat per second, right? And once again, we think this is a five second uh, lasting um, based on kind of what we can yep. count because uh, we have not gotten the confirmation yet as to how long these uh, persist um, But you know if you can also boost the attack of your character then the regen is also going to be higher um, Of course we you talked about in your rune video uh, the attack rune set uh, using four runes for only a 5% attack boost it feels like a waste when you know of course leech is definitely way way better um which is why you know you you want that but any any way you can boost your attack there's other ways right there's other buffs we're going to talk about that coming up here in just a minute <laughs> um yep which, number three <laughs> which really affects that yeah so moving to number three is strengthened right we we increase the strength of our character we're going to do more damage we're going to do more healing Right, because um, heals and regens yep. are determined on the character's strength, which is or attack stat, which is pretty interesting. Um, a lot of times yep. in games, uh, healing comes from a different st statistic, right? Than attack. You know? Yeah, there's like a normally a healing stat or like a wisdom stat or something, and I mean strengthened strengthened would have been up there higher than three. But the only heroes that give it are this kind of conditional right now. So right, there's only three of the epic, get, but really epic heroes that give it, and two of them it's very very conditional. So like then, and these yep. are all great tunes that are that are giving out strengthened. You know, um, Nettis, Vorsla, and Helga. Now Helga gives it out like candy, kind of like. But Nettis and Vor Vorsla, it's um, it's very conditional when they when they get it. Yeah, which makes it rough, but it's still very good to have because the best defense is a strong offense. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're down to the last two. The last two. And we we kind of went back and forth with this a little bit, but not really. We were pretty we pretty much agreed. So um, in number two is focus. Um, and I want to ask you something, Red. Um, I don't know if you've noticed or seen this because uh, focus increases crit rate right 
Um, yep. What I what I noticed that there's there's no um, buff that increases crit damage, but that's fine. Um, we have you know uh, runes for that. Um, but this yep, crit this crit rate increase from focused is really really good. Have you noticed that your heals have crit and you've gotten a bigger heal from a crit heal? Have you ever, have you noticed that? Uh, no, I. Uh... I really don't pay attention too much to the numbers floating around on the screen other than when I'm seeing one pop up when someone isn't dying. It's right. just pretty upsetting to me. Well, because <laughs> green... But no, I have not seen... Um, green is is healing, right? When we're we're looking at this, right? Yep, green yeah. is all your heals. And I, I, I saw a green crit. I said crit with a heal, and it was a big numbers, and I, I wish I was recording at that time, and I haven't seen it since. But I, I, I have so much conviction, I believe... That your crit chance also affects your healing, not just the damage output. And there's a lot of uh, effects that are triggered from crit on a lot of good characters. So this is why we 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 said oh, yeah. know, focused is really 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 good stat. Yeah, what? like you were filling me in like um, when Rockov uh, has any of the warbands crit. You actually told me this one. Uh, I wasn't even thinking about that when we were talking about focused. Um, you were saying that Rockov on crit, all warbands on crit um, tend to stun. Yeah, so which they're is actually very huge. Yeah, their basic attacks uh, for all warband when you when you get him all the way up, he's he's giving everybody the chance to stun, and that's just pretty nasty. Like stun is a really good debuff, which we're going to talk about in your video. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's huge. So of course, last but not least, haste. So, yep. um, I'm gonna say one more thing about. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I wanted to say one more thing about that about the heal crit. There are a lot of games out there. Uh, World of Warcraft being probably one of the first that allowed crits on heals. Um, so it's very possible you can. Because I think uh, the crit rate is also only a two set for the runes. So. Um, no, that's actually a four set. Oh, the crit rates before that. So crit set, damage is the two set. set? Crit damage is the two set. That's why the brutal set is so crazy. Mm, okay. Because you can stack that three times. Yeah. So I mean, if crit rate was the was the two set, oh boy. <laughs> we everyone would be carrying. Uh... Oh yeah, healers. <laughs> yeah, your healers. We're oh, that. Busting would be all over that. Okay. Yeah. So hasten increases the attack speed and movement speed per twenty percent, by twenty percent per stack. So you get full five stacks. You have double attack speed, double movement speed, and that can really, really accelerate the damage output. And like what you said earlier, Red, is that good defense is a good offense, or good off, whatever. Maybe I said that backwards. <laughs> yeah. We got him. That's good enough, right? <laughs> yeah. And, and, and since, yeah, you know, we, we talked about how there are triggers on basic attacks, there's a lot of basic attacks do a lot of really cool things. Um, so having your characters be able to just attack faster is is awesome. That also charges your basic attacks. Also charge your your ult meter, um, which is which is pretty huge because you want to get those off as fast as possible. Well, yeah, and then there's um like Henry, for example. Every fifth basic attack, he is guaranteed to crit. So he's attacking faster. He's critting more often. Um, Absolutely. There's uh, Helga, everyone's favorite queen of shock. She uh, um, <laughs> often you're triggering that shock debuff uh, from Hastened that will actually um, increase the damage output from that also. So you're getting like a four, you're like a double bonus off Haste. Haste isn't just benefiting your attack and movement speed; it's actually benefiting your characters as a whole on multiple levels. Yep. Absolutely. And and the nice thing we we talked about how some of these. Uh, not very many characters do them. A lot of characters give out haste, uh, especially in the epic realm, and, and a lot of really good characters give out haste. So um, that's why haste yeah, makes and, it. Yeah, and it's a lot of them do it right off, right at the start of battle. Um, like I think Celestine hands it out right at the start of battle. Uh, Cascade starts with stacks of haste and already, um, and that's just so you your characters aren't even moving slow to begin with. They're getting those stacks right off, which is really really important 
Yep, getting that head start at the beginning of the fight. You know, if you can, if you can get some momentum right away, you have a better chance of finishing strong. Well, Red, I think that's it. We got our we got our list of best to worst or worst to best, however you guys want to look at this. Um, what do you guys think out there in YouTube world? If uh, do you agree with? how we rank these. Uh, if you have a different opinion, let us know in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget to like, uh, subscribe, check out Red, White & Brew's channel. We're gonna have our ranking of debuffs on on his, and we'll link that in the description as well. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.